we're getting there. One more time, but this time, have a look at each other's faces as you give me my applause. One, two, three. And you might have noticed that the people who were applauding and cheering were smiling. The people who weren't were not. The applause is not for me, it is for yourselves. Because we can be our own chemist's shop. Okay? We can be our own chemist's shop. And there are certain things that we can do which help our health, help our happiness. And laughter is one of those. So this is not stand-up, this is, this is actually serious. I'm going to give you a lecture called What is Laughter? Um, and uh, maybe we move next door to do a little bit of laughter yoga if you'd like to, to experience... Um, um, what we might do um, when, when we are looking to generate laughter rather than, um, rather than humour and comedy. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. So, um, does anyone here know how to laugh? Yeah. Okay, one person does. So for those who don't, again, maybe this, this really works nicely in pairs. So have a look at the person next to you and just with me, we'll just do the five steps to create the shape of a laugh, so that all those who won't admit to knowing how to laugh have that laughter skill. And then, having made the shape, we may then do some sound. So, to start with, absolutely, we need a blank face, a blank canvas. So make your face blank and expressionless. That is very good. Um, some of that is scary. Okay, so have a look in the eyes of the person next to you with this blank face. You may recognize this blank face. The first step is just the politician's smile. So just curl up the corners of your mouth and you will see an emotionless, meaningless smile. You might recognize a politician or people from the world. Then we need to animate the face. So the next two steps are to bring your cheeks up and your forehead up. Okay. Relax, otherwise you get stuck. The two key things about laughter. If you want the technical term for anything to do with laughter, the only real technical term is Duchenne. Duchenne smile, Duchenne laugh. This is the laugh that comes from deep inside. It's not from my head saying, I'm going to laugh, I'm going to make the sound of laughter. This is the real laugh, the real smile. And the Duchenne laugh includes the eyes. So what we'll do is, when we get to stage four, I say eyes, Make your eyes go small, but still be able to look out of them at the person you're, you're working with. So again, blank face. Corners of mouth go up, cheeks and forehead go up, and then eyes. Okay, can you still see? All right, we're getting there. Relax again, because the key thing, having been, having been doing laughter work for 15 years, you, you probably agree, laughter involves letting some sound out, and the best place seems to be the mouth. So what we'll do <laughs> is we will open our mouth with a big cheesy grin, and that's step five, and then we've got the shape of our mouth. So down the face again, look into the eyes of the person next to the car. Politician smile, cheeks and forehead, eyes, and a cheesy grin. <laughs> Show those teeth. If your teeth are bad, it doesn't matter. Because as I will be explaining as we go through, that basically laughter is our own medicine. And we shouldn't inhibit, should we? We shouldn't inhibit our own medicine. Okay, so now that we've got that, just make this, make this, make this face relax again. I'm just gonna put my hand up, and when I put my hand up, let's just make the shape of a laugh, just so that you get it ingrained in your mind. So here we go, are you ready? Here we go. Uh, okay. Let's try that again. Okay, lots of energy, you ready? Here we go, one, two, three. Okay. All right. So um, may maybe um, maybe um, we could get everyone standing up and sort of lining along the side of the wall. Is that possible? Um, we've got two walls. Do you want to go in the other room? Okay, let's go in the other room. Let's do it. Ha ha ha! Ha 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 ha
do you want to do another couple of sounds? The, the, the four key sounds are the sounds ha, ho, which is the Santa sound, but we won't do that because it involves six pack and I can't find one. Um, then there's the, a the, 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 the sort of stifled, throaty sound, hoo, hoo. Um, Gordon Brown, you might remember Gordon Brown, he used to, and we saw him on, on the screen before, he used to laugh with a stifled laugh, a hoo sound. So, so I, I mean, to me, he's much the most famous in the world. So let's do a who. Um, so if you hold your throat, not mine, um, we'll just quickly pass this one around to you. Are you ready? standing up for a lecture. Okay. What is laughter? Laughter is a release. Thank you. That was my lecture. Because <laughs> if you have been watching yourself and other people laugh during the day, that is all laughter is. It is a release. So for me, when I was watching um, the, 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 the last the sketch, um, and uh, it was about the snake called Charlie. Charles. <laughs> Charles. And, and for me, I found that because it, it was, uh, for me it was unpredictable. I didn't know what was going to happen. It was a bit over the top, a bit strange. I was laughing. Because it raised my energy, raised my tension, and that came out as laughter. So what happens if I don't laugh? What if I hold in that laughter? Okay. That's what causes illness. But letting out the laugh when it's there, is really important. Sometimes people laugh, imagine you're at a funeral and there's a frog just jumping across the church, or someone has a wonderful, amazing bout of wind. Um, because we are already holding ourselves at a certain level of tension, then we raise the tension slightly, it's got to come out somewhere. And there are three clear ways of releasing tension. One is tears, one is laughter, and one is wind. Um, but very often it's the laughter which comes out. So laughter is a natural release. It may be that tension rises because we're being playful, we're enjoying something. A, a small child might run around and the child is enjoying themselves, it's being playful, they're pulling the wings off a butterfly or something. Um, and, and because of the heightened state of their enjoyment, it comes out as laughter. Another possibility is you feel angry. And you laugh with anger. Another is you are afraid or nervous or anxious. And that one is very, very common. You often see that. That people are laughing out of anxiety, out of nervousness. 
So laughter is a language. There's only one emotion that laughter doesn't represent, and that's grief itself. When you're grieving, you may laugh, because laughter can represent all the subparts of grieving, but grief itself comes out in tears. So laughter is a language. Laughter is a release. It is as easy as that. So maybe there are a couple of games we can play to illustrate that. Um, could you take a couple of sheets of paper and then hand them on, please? And the same there. Um, and in, in, in the meantime, in the meantime, maybe we have a gibberish conversation. Does anyone know how to speak gibberish? Okay, so what I'd like you to do is just turn to the person next to you and all those things that get you so angry. Maybe you can't do anything about them, maybe you can, but the things that really annoy you in your life, now is a chance to tell the person next to you, but in gibberish, because if you speak in gibberish, they don't know what you're saying. It's not personal. You could try this with your relationships. Now, if both of you have an argument in gibberish, you don't know what they're saying, but you get the energy off your chest. So on the count of three, the first will turn to someone next to you, and on the count of three, let's have a gibberish argument. your lungs go from about there to there, except on your body, not mine, um, then our lungs contain a lot of old, stale air. Yeah? We don't empty our lungs when we're breathing. Maybe when we do exercise, that's brilliant, um, um, because we are breathing more deeply, and, and laughter is like exercise. Laughter is a short-in breath and a long, stuttered out breath. And if we do that five times, you'll notice your in-breath gets longer because you're clearing the air out of your lungs. So what we'll do, and, 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 and therefore you can see we're taking in more oxygen, plus in this case other people's carbon dioxide, and we're getting rid of our carbon dioxide. So we're going to have more oxygen in our lungs, which means we'll have more oxygen in our bloodstream, which means our body functions better, and our mind will be more alert. So we'll just do that. Take a short in-breath, and a long stuttered out breath. <laughs> <laughs> Our respiration. It brings us more oxygen so our body and mind 
function better. Also, apparently, the walls of the arteries become, or the blood vessel, become more fluid so the blood flows more easily. Our resting blood, blood pressure comes down as well. <coughs> Our immune system is boosted by up to 40% and the effect can last for up to two days. Now, if the effect of the chemical changes, the physiological changes, can last two days, if you can get a little bit more laughter every day in your life, maybe your happiness level is permanently raised. Maybe your health is permanently better. The third area, um, I can become less stressed with laughter. Okay, so less stressed. Okay? Now, I, I, um, that's because when I do laugh, I am generating heat. I'm warming up my body, so I take my clothes off. So I become less stressed. But also, <laughs> laughter neutralizes the stress hormones, such as cortisol and epinephrine. So my experience of stress is also lowered. So if I'm in a stressful situation and I can find something to laugh about, either about the situation or about um, uh, life generally, then my stress level will go down and then I have more clarity to deal with the things that I'm faced with. So I can use laughter as a stress controlling mechanism, which is again why it's so beneficial to go and see comics and to go and see sketch shows. And, and, and to engage with humour and allow the laughter to happen. Um, humour is, humor is uh, um, quite individual, but laughter is universal. Okay, so, less stressed, less stress. Um, change my mood, uh, increase my health, but also it brings down social barriers. Um, we will notice that we feel closer to people when we laugh with them. So while you've got your, it, it might be easy to hold the news break if you just screw it into a couple of balls. Um, okay, <coughs> so just a little exercise, just to share the laughter with people. Um, if I'm just going to run at someone and I'm going to laugh, and if I run at you, I just want you to run at somebody else laughing. And we'll keep that going for a little while. It'll eventually it'll peter out. But I'll just, if you can't run, then just walk fast. But the key thing is to laugh. And just let's see how this breaks down barriers. You might bump into each other, but we'll see. So I'm going to just run at someone laughing, and I just want you to then run at someone else laughing. Okay? All right? Yeah. Okay. Ah! <laughs> you want anyone? <laughs> 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 Each other and laugh 
And let's see how this goes. Here we go. One, two, three. Ah! <laughs> Someone hit me on the head, so I throw it harder at them. Maybe I get a ball of fire at them and throw it at that person. Maybe I want to get my own back. Maybe I get angry. Maybe I get distressed. But because we laugh, we let go and move on. You, know, you, you don't care that you got hit in the head. You don't care that three came along at once. But when life is chaotic, our natural response is very often to laugh. Okay? There's another game. Um, excuse me, I need to come over here. So, here we go. So, um, I know what this is. I'm going to hand it to you. I'll tell you what it is, but you have to check. So you say, what? And I tell you again. Then you hand it on to the next person. You say what it is. They say what to you. You say what to me. I tell you what it is. Okay? Very easy. This is a ha. A what? A ha. So then take it, you pass it on. This is a ha. A what? A what? A ha. A ha. This is a he. A what? A he. No, a he. A he. No, no, a he. A what? You say a what? A what? A he. You change the right to say a what? This is a he. A what? This is a he. A what? A ha. A what? A he. This is a what? A he. This is a he. This is a he. This is a he. A what? A what? A what? A what? A he. A he. A he. This is a ha. A what? 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 This is a ha. A what? 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 A This is a 
car. A what? A what? So last year was a group practice. It, it, jokes are personal. I will laugh at something if I in some way identify <laughs> with it. So someone might tell a joke which I don't understand, and I probably don't laugh at it. Um, when I got you to do the laughter sounds before, there was real laughter coming up, and that laughter sometimes might have meant, I wish I was one of the people outside. Or it might have meant, um, uh, this is really good fun, or it might have meant, oh, I never thought he or she would be doing this. It, it, it's a language, it means many things. So laughter is a language. Humour is our response, I, it, our laughter is a response to, in some way, identifying with the thing that we are experiencing. So people have different humour. Um, okay, so, laughter yoga is an exercise regime, okay? So, um, maybe um, I'll tell you the mantra, or we'll do the mantra. Um, the mantra is ho, ho, ha, 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 and because you're clearly experienced, you know, what we'll do is we'll, we'll take a shortcut. We won't do each step one, one at a time. We'll just go ho, ho, ha, ha, ha. In fact, we won't. We'll make it into a song and a dance. We will go ho, ho, ha, ha. Okay, and we'll do that. We'll walk around, and as we see people, we'll smile or wink at them. Um, so ho, ho, ha, ha, ha. We'll do it seven or eight times, okay? Enjoy it. Here we go. Okay, that's me much fun. Okay, uh, there's another another thing in um, in, in after yoga which is really good. It's to be childlike and. Man who invented laughter yoga says we be childlike by going very good, very good, yeah, and clapping like this. Very good, very good, yeah. Okay, so have a go at that on the count of three. One, two, three. Very good, very good, yeah. Okay, that was uh, appalling. Um, what we need to do is imagine we're two and a half years old and trying to be as naughty as possible while doing it. So it needs to be about two and a half million times bigger than that. Here we go. We'll do it three times. No, very, 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 very good, yeah. yeah. So, at the end of an exercise, we might use that just to bring everyone's attention back to the room. Okay. The, the, the one the last year of exercise we're going to do, we might do two, but the main one is a greetings laugh. We're going to go up to people, shake them by the hand, make eye contact, and share a laugh with them. Okay, now, if you like, I can demonstrate with someone just so that uh, you get an idea of what it is um, that we're going to do. Um, so can I have a volunteer? Okay, uh, wonderful. So, um, so, I'll go with this lady, is that okay? Yeah? Okay, so would you like a big laugh or a small laugh? A big laugh. 
Okay, so you come up to me, I come up to you, we'll shake hands and we'll have a really big laugh together. Here we go. serious face. I'm going to greet half a dozen people you don't know. Okay, and with some of them you might get a real laugh, with some of them you might not. But just share a laugh with them. Okay? Six people in your own time. <laughs> <laughs> Started laughing. They started laughing. But the anticipation of the laughter 
also brings about the benefits. Okay? So the health benefits, lower stress, improved circulation, improved respiration, improved the immune system. And if you're prepared to do other things which aren't strictly, you know, like go to a gym, is that real exercise if you are on the treadmill? Well, th th there are other things that we do. And the question is, if I know that this is going to make me healthier, happier, deal with my stress, am I prepared to just pretend to laugh until the real laughter comes along? Okay, so, um, yes, if, if when, when we did the exercise at the start with the eyes, if somebody is laughing and their eyes are not involved, you know it's just fake laughter or they have facial paralysis. <laughs> or, um, so, um, okay, then that is maybe their mechanism for dealing with a difficult situation. Yeah? Um, but I agree with you. I agree with you that um, once we get the real laughter going, it's amazing, and it just sometimes takes a little while. If someone, for example, is in depression, or um, is in pain, or is in distress, it may take a little while before the real laughter is all coming. But once it does, it brings all those benefits. Mm -hmm. And what can we do? We can have things like this that may make us laugh. We can have a box of things. We can keep a diary. Something that made me laugh six years ago will make me laugh six, well, six minutes from now. Um, my brother and I um, were once with my mum and she just hesitated at the wrong time. She said, I'm just going to pop in the bathroom. And then my brother and I, we don't even have to say the words. We just look at each other when my mum's around and we'll laugh. And my dad, big man, he said, because he worked from here, one day he said, today I'm going to get on top of my desk. And I know what he meant. My brother and I, we just laughed because it just seemed so ridiculous. <laughs> okay, that's nice. That's good. A question, yes. Um, doesn't this very easy access to laughing, is there a problem that will bring down the standard of comedy, which is low enough, generally, uh, after okay. here? Okay, so there are many ways that we can facilitate our own laughter. We can go to a laughing group, yeah? or we can do one-on-one -on -one laugh after coaching, or we can watch a funny film, or we can look at some book or some, listen to some audio, things which make us laugh, and we each have something different. Um, my wish is that everyone in the world understands that laughter is just a release. That is all it is. Because then if people feel like laughing, maybe they stop inhibiting themselves. Typically, someone gets to the age of 10, they are uh, emotionally working out where they belong in the world, so they stop naturally laughing with other people, they inhibit their laughter, they'll laugh only with the people they're closest to. You know, like the girls will laugh with their closest girlfriends, boys will maybe, maybe they don't even laugh again actually. And then when you get to 18, you go to university, you get a job, you don't want people to think you're not taking it seriously, so you inhibit your laughter. Let's stop that. In Ethiopia, if a young woman is laughing near a young man, it means she's up for it, apparently. So let's re-educate people. Let's re-educate people. Show people that laughter is a brilliant release. And then we can embrace comedy. As in a comedy is something which... I, 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 I laughed with the Charlie Char Char sketch. Or Charles sketch. It made me laugh. Yeah? But, but I don't generally laugh out loud. You know? So it's different things for different people. Silent laugh. Um, okay, so. <coughs> 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 
laughter is a natural response, however it comes out. <coughs> we do stifle our laughs in different ways. So, um, and it is different parts of our body which originate the sound with different muscle groups. Um, okay, so, um, <coughs> not something that was said earlier today. Um, oh, no, actually, it's a William Burroughs quote. Um, it, it's about um, um, somebody who keeps getting things wrong isn't a fool, it's a person who, I, I can't remember the quote, but you can look it up. Basically, we can change how we are, we can change our positive emotion, change our outlook on life with laughter, because like, you mustn't move, because that's what sets it off. Um, to get them really, really um, Okay, um, so if we stop thinking of ourselves as having made a mistake, you know the body, the body if I think, oh, I've done that wrong, our body hunches, we feel very negative, if you say, oh, that's amazing, I've given myself a learning opportunity, then our physiology, our, the way we hold ourselves changes. So part of this laughter is to change our, 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 our positive emotion, positive perception, the way we see life. So we, we can do that. So laughter is a really good way of doing that. Um, okay, are there any other questions specifically about laughter? Because in a minute we're going to have to... So we're going to um, move back into the other room yeah. and get you to chuck your joke aeroplanes and okay. then we'll have questions for all of the guests. Okay. So, so we'll finish with a silent laugh. So when I put my hand up... No, 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 no. When you put your hand up... Yeah, we will laugh, but we won't make any sound. When you put your hand down, we'll stop. And you can go hand up and down, hand up and down, hand up and down three times. When you're ready. Yeah.